Hello and welcome to Semiconductor Club. Here we talk about semiconductor engineering. Please show a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's topic we will learn about basic of UVM, advantages of UVM, and UVM test bench architecture. Now on to the first subtopic. What is a UVM? Universal Verification Methodology, UVM is a system Verilog language-based verification methodology which is widely used across VLSI industry. UVM is a methodology defined to build test benches for verifying the design. Now on to the next subtopic, advantages of UVM. Reuse of test bench components, development of verification IP, easier migration from simulation to emulation environment, sequence-based stimulus generation, factory mechanisms. And now on to the final part, UVM test bench architecture. Test, configuring the test bench. Initiate the test bench component's construction process by building the next level down in the hierarchy example, environment, env. Initiate the stimulus by starting the sequence. Environment, it is a container component for grouping higher level components like agents and scoreboard. Scoreboard, receive data items from monitor and compare them with expected value. Agent, UVM agent groups the UVM underscore component specific to an interface or protocol. Sequence item, it defines the pin level activity generated by agent, to drive to DUT through the driver. Monitor, observe the pin level activity on interface signal and converts into packet level which is sent to components such as scoreboard. Driver, it receives the stimulus from generator and drive the packet level data inside the transaction into pin level to DUT. Sequence, it defines the sequence in which the data items need to be generated and sent received to, from the driver. Sequencer, it is responsible for routing the data packets, sequence underscore item generated in sequence to the driver or vice versa. Generator, generates different input stimulus to be driven to out. Interface, contains design signals that can be driven or monitored. Basic structure of UVM. 1. Testbench.svh, testbench.svh is module that creates an object of test class passes on interface pointer and starts simulation using run underscore testo call. Include all class definition, UVM packages and macros. Clock generation logic. Instantiate interface and pass to test top as virtual interface. Run test. 2. Test SVH. Instantiate environment, ENI, config and stimulus. Build phase. Construct env and config. Get virtual interface handle from TB and pass it to env. Run phase. Construct sequence. Start test. Pass sequence, sector sequence, SQR. Phase objection. Sec start, SQR. Drop objection. 3 env.svh instantiate agent build phase pass virtual interface handle to agent after getting it from test add connect phase if scoreboard is present 4 sequence.svh parameterize to type sequence item sec underscore item task body once sequence started it gets executed instantiate sec underscore item Construct sec underscore item. Start underscore item, sec underscore item. Randomize. Finish underscore item, sec underscore item. 5. Sec underscore item dot svh. Declare all transaction variables. Implement do underscore copy, convert to string functions. 6. Agent dot svh. Instantiate all components to be present in agent like driver, sequencer, and monitor. Build phase. Construct all sub components instantiated above. Get virtual interface from env and pass it to all the sub components. Connect phase connect driver and sequencer port to export. 7. Sequencer.svh. Parameterize to type sec underscore item. Build phase. Get virtual interface from agent. 8. Driver.svh. Build phase. Get virtual interface from agent, parent or config database. Run phase. Forever begin. 
get underscore next underscore item, get sec underscore item from sequencer. Item underscore done, handshake done from driver to sequencer. End. Other APIs like peak, try underscore get, put, could also be used. 9. Monitor.svh. Analysis port, monitor writes transaction objects to this port once get detected at the interface. Construct analysis port. Build phase. Get virtual interface handle from agent, parent or config database. Run phase. Code functionality. Construct transaction objects, sec underscore items. Tap signal at the interface through mod port. Write transactions to analysis port. 10. Config.svh. If needed. And that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed this topic. Stay connected for the next lessons. Thanks for watching.